Hi, this is Paula from CHNE. Here's this week's municipal update with Inverness County's Keith McDonald. We talk about recycling, food security projects, and the development of a volunteer network during the pandemic. Unfortunately, due to a technical issue, we only have audio for you today. We'll have video next week. We start with an update on recycling. Recycling facility is still closed. Uh, again, it's due to uh, being un unable to provide social distancing between our employees and still we had, don't have a significant amount of uh, uh, personal protective equipment. Uh, we're still seeking more of that out, certainly. Um, so as people know, we had a pause on blue bag pickup because of that. Um, but due to the length of time, and it was very unanticipated, a number of residents are certainly finding that a challenge. So uh, the municipality, as we mentioned in the last interview, we've been trying to find out other ways to maybe alleviate this. So we've been able to figure out some storage space at our Strathmore facility. Uh, so right now we've uh, started picking up blue bags again and we're storing them for the time being at our Strathmore facility. Um, and then we're st waiting to see what happens uh, again with the province's uh, uh, their uh, approach to having recycling go to direct landfill uh, during this uh, this uh, pandemic and state of emergency. So we're still waiting to hear back from the province. Um, so right now, the material is just being stored on site at uh, Strathmore. Uh, we think we have enough space between there and some other locations for for a few weeks, and we're continuously having conversations with the province in regards to uh, uh, the variants for Guysboro. Uh, so once we hear from that, we would then be taking uh, blue bags uh, directly uh, to Guysboro uh, from our transfer station in Kenlock. Do you think people should try to keep their recycling at home? Well, everybody has different challenges. Some people have may have a lot of storage and they can keep it safe and dry. Others may not. It's up to them. Certainly as a municipality, we're hoping to, to do two things, protect the environment, protect the safety of our staff. Um, right now our options are limited. We're trying our best to, again, continue to find some storage space uh, to hold this over. Um, but right now um, we're really waiting for the province to make a decision. I know that at the Committee of the Whole last week, uh, the Council talked about food security. Could you tell me more about that? Certainly, it's one of the items we've heard quite a bit from, from the community, in regards to not just near-term uh, food security items, because that's already been a hot topic uh, in our part of uh, the province. Uh, people want to see more uh, locally grown food and product um, here in Cape Breton, particularly in Inverness County. Uh, but right now, with all the stresses on supply chains and uh, you see a number of facilities being closed due to COVID spread in, in various uh, packaging facilities, etc. Um, so it's becoming more and more of a challenge. Um, so how things play out in the U.S. will be certainly, uh, or in other countries, will certainly impact what's happening here in Nova Scotia in terms of produce be coming across the border and uh, eventually getting to Cape Breton. So to combat that, uh, certainly, Council has been very supportive of uh, local food uh, being grown. They've supported the Food Hub for many years. Uh, so right now, uh, they're looking to do two things. Certainly continue to work with the Food Hub that's doing some really exciting new things to try to help people uh, during this difficult time. But on top of that, try to figure out a, a more strategic approach to local food uh, production from how do we access seed uh, how do we plant, how do we harvest, all the way to how do we uh, get that to market. So uh, the pro our council recommended to uh, uh, council for our next regular meeting to approve a, uh, a proposal that would go out to other neighboring municipal units and First Nations to come together and approach uh, the various other levels of government on developing a, a very detailed uh, plan into food security for our part of the 
uh, country. Would this be more about production? No, it would be all the way through. Again, how do we make sure we have the proper plant, uh, our seeds to plant? How do we make sure we have uh, uh, land available to, to, uh, to, uh, to utilize that may be fallow and not that's underutilized or may not be utilized at all right now and how to get that into production uh, and again how do we get maybe more people into this industry so yeah it will be across the board on all aspects of uh, food uh, growing cultivating harvesting and then getting that to the market it would include uh, growing food here more than we did in the past is that it well growing more food than we have in the recent past. Uh, certainly Inverness County has had a significant history of being uh, an agricultural uh, community. Uh, at one time it did produce and, uh, and surplus food for this area, uh, which was shipped to other parts of the province and uh, outside of it uh, for other people's needs. So uh, what we hope to do, or council is as well as working with our other municipal units and First Nations par partners, find out how do we can start moving uh, back towards that uh, type of trend we had uh, historically uh, so that we can meet our needs here uh, locally. So the pandemic has certainly demonstrated, and there's many, many articles and commentary about uh, this country's reliance on not necessarily just even food, but products being produced in other jurisdictions and that we have no capabilities to produce that maybe in our own country or province. So I think uh, from reading the material out there and pundits, uh, there is going to be a shift back to how do we produce more, again, not only food, but other products locally that we need uh, for these very challenging times. Uh, in particular right now, because food is one of the top needs and top priorities. It's, uh, uh, we heard from quite a few people early days in the pandemic, but their concerns about food security. Uh, so council has advanced this and, uh, and we'll see how, uh, how it advances over the next few weeks. So last week we talked a little bit about this, but do you have an update on the network community groups? Yes, so following um, the lead of other community groups that have form naturally, such as the one in Mark Ree, where neighbors are helping neighbors. Um, the municipalities work with other communities to set these up online. So we've, we've seen that uh, spread out. I think we have 14 now that we're helping support uh, throughout the uh, county. So now what we've, we're looking to do, and we've had one meeting to date, uh, is to basically bring people together in various communities just to talk about how they're addressing the challenge of uh, the state of emergency and what uh, issues might they might be experiencing as a community. So the idea is we'll bring together key community groups uh, in these various communities to get on a, on a call with, uh, with their uh, district counselor as well as some staff to have a facilitated conversation about how are they working together? Uh, there might be some groups in a particular community that are doing a lot of great things, but they they may not know what each other are doing, and there there could be ways for them to work more collaboratively. Um, so I think this would go a long way for council and the municipality to get a better grasp of what's happening uh, throughout the mis or throughout the county and all of our in, our in various communities. Is there anything that you would like to add? Hopefully. Uh, uh, everyone's dealing with the situation as best they can. At the municipality, we have a number of resources online on our uh, COVID-19 webpage, and we continuously post updates to our Facebook, uh, so please uh, check those out. Uh, we also have a helpline that's listed there as well if anyone has any specific questions or challenges they'd like some assistance with. You can send us your questions for the municipality at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.